Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I like your colors. Oh, 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 oh. Hey guys, what's up? Jen here from Jump Plays Minecraft, and today I'm going to be I'm playing on the server known as the Hive. Um, and it is a huge Minecraft server. It's very popular. As you can see, there's a lot of people just in a lobby here. This isn't even a pre-game lobby. This is the hub. This is the, the regular lobby. Um, and this is all survival games right here. It's, you can see how popular it is because there's a whole lot of different uh, servers here. This is All these signs link to a different server for Hunger Games. These are all different lobbies to get to Hunger Games. Uh, so <laughs> there's a lot there. <laughs> More than I could count. Um, so I guess I'm just going to be uh, kind of showcasing the survival games on this server. So I'll see you in a minute. Huh. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back and uh, yeah, I'm back from that minute. And this is the lobby in the game. It actually took a couple minutes in order just to get into this lobby, but the game is about to start here. Um, since I'm showcasing, I might as well give you a little tour of this. It's not much. It's just a little ring kind of thing in the middle. And there is a parkour over here in one of the doorways um, on the right of the entrance. It's a nice little parkour. I haven't yet finished it because I don't normally play on this server anymore. But yeah, all right, here we go. So we're playing on. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but wow, I hate that people just quit for no reason. Or they don't like the map, so they quit. Like really? What kind of gamer are you? Um, but this is the Hive server, and I like their survival games for a couple reasons, and I dislike it also. Um, one of the things that is their, one of their uh, features is that their chests aren't actually chests in the game. And as you can see this time, I guess they're ender chests. <laughs> um, but they also appear as being uh, with the piston texture as a crate. Or they call them some kind of survival crate. I, I can't remember what it's actually called. But their chests don't look like chests, which is nice because when you actually go into them, they don't make any noise when they open or close, so you can kind of sneak things without people uh, knowing about it. One one good thing about the server is that there's always so many people playing that um oh crap crap oh oh wow wow that is a really good find right there. I got iron and uh, wow I got a fishing rod and a sword. Like I don't normally get this good of a job, especially in this server. I I find it harder to win. Uh, games in this server to be honest um, Yeah, oh I'm getting some lag here. I Tend to get lag on this server also. I don't I think it's because so many people are they play on this server. I Should get a kill here. Yes. Yes, I did Oops, oh, that's right. You can't also you can't um, you can't open chests well, you have a weapon equipped, or something like that. Okay, I'm doing pretty good here. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I, I have a weapon. I have some armor. Um, but yeah, there's always a lot of people playing on these servers, so you never have to worry about a game not being full or not actually uh, have, not having enough people to start a game. Or if you're going to be worried about playing the same people over and over, you can play the same people if you're coordinating. But you, jeez, that scared me. But you don't really have to worry about it uh, if, if you don't like a player you don't have to play on the same server again as they do in fact it's really difficult to get on the same server as someone unless you are coordinating with them um, but they do a really good job with all their maps and they have a lot of a lot of staff and everything so uh, their moderators and stuff are always watching the games making sure nobody's hacking or cheating if you have any questions you can contact them i'm pretty sure i've never had to but yeah. um so let's get let's get a better view from up here yeah let's see if we can uh, spot anybody yeah hmm. well I i'm off to a pretty good start already i got some armor uh the only thing i'm missing actually is leggings and 28 minutes till deathmatch uh okay let me see if i can uh 12 tributes remain, including me. Okay. Oops. Ooh. That's right. I got some parkour skills. Actually used to be really bad at parkour. Just 
honestly the best way to get better at parkour is just by doing it at least that's what i found just by going out and failing miserably a bunch of times on some easier parkour excuse me and then um you slowly develop the skills and everything to uh required to get better at parkouring it, really you just have to do it in order to get better as long as there's no lag on the server then it, it's all up to your own skill and just like anything in real life i video games is it's the same way you just have to to do stuff in, in order to develop your reflexes or hand-eye coordination as long as uh like i said as long as the lag is is not you know as long as there's minimal lag and there we go i got full armor now as long as lag is minimal then it's it's completely up to your reflexes so if you have good reflexes you'll be good at the game i i found that the same way i used to be really really bad at halo when i first started playing and i was really bad for probably about a year or so because i didn't used to play it every day or I, I barely ever played it but when i did i would stay up real late with my cousins and my uncle and we used to just play we'd go against each other 2v2 and uh became one of my favorite games halo did we played a lot of halo 2 that's what we did okay oh oh where you going son where you going I'm, I'm not good with the pole though i have to admit that oh 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 son's got skill son's got skill skill isn't gonna help you now i nah, didn't have anything good i'm usually really bad at this server uh the hive i'm usually people are kicking my ass pretty hard by now i'm kind of surprised how good I'm, I'm doing actually yeah and i have a backup sword too since this is a golden sword because gold has the worst durability in the game. It's the same uh, damage ratio and dur or it's the same damage as wooden, but the durability sucks on them. They die so fast. And there's another one. Nice. Wow, I really feel like I'm about to sneeze here. I'm, I'm sorry. Like I, I'm on the verge of sneezing, but I just want to sneeze. I hate it when that happens so much. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can go find some people. Twelve tributes remain. Hmm. That is the one bad thing about playing by yourself. <laughs> Oftentimes I have fallen right in the beginning of the games, which, you know, that's that's not that bad. What, what really sucks is when you've been playing for like 10, 15 minutes and there's like 10 people left and then you, you die. You're by yourself and you just, you just die. Nothing sucks more than that because it, it's like you spent all this time preparing, you know, struggling against all the odds you didn't get any good drops in the beginning you just that one guy was pursuing you and you ended up uh, losing him in the, the high jump pursuit chase kind of thing and then somebody gets you <laughs> it's like all that time spent was really spent for for nothing in the end and that that is really what sucks that's that's happened to me before and uh, there there have been times when i just was <laughs> We'll stop playing Minecraft when something that horrible happens. But eventually you learn just to deal with it and you just, you know, kind of move on. Really the best thing you can... See? <laughs> See this? This drives me crazy. I used to get that way with, with playing the original Mario Brothers also. Um, I would do... Why? It's this vine. This vine is screwing me up. Um, I would play the same level over and over and over again because I couldn't make that one jump or I kept getting hit by the bullet bills and then I'd have to use a continue and then I wouldn't have any of my extra lives or anything and get down to the, the very very nitty gritty and yeah and I get so mad but I never threw the controller I knew people that would throw their controllers and that I never never did because you know it's my controller like if that breaks then I've got no game left to play but really all you can really do is you take the experiences that you've that you've gone through in gaming or even in real life and you, you take what you have and you learn from it that's that's really what it's about and you learn not to make the same mistakes that you've made before for instance you don't want to fight people in the beginning of the hunger games uh, unless you actually have a weapon better if you even if you have armor but if you have armor and somebody else has a weapon, you're still gonna lose if you don't have that weapon. <laughs> yeah. I remember my noob days of survival games. For a long time, I just didn't play because I was, you know, I admit I was a little nervous at first. I didn't know. 
I didn't think I could do it. You know, I, I watch all these big YouTubers uh, playing Minecraft and kicking ass on survival games, and me, I'm just this little peon that's you know never really played before, and and that's intimidating. <laughs> I can't lie. But you know, eventually I decided just to tough it out and actually get in, get my feet wet for myself, and see what I could do. For instance, there's a guy right there. I'm gonna go kick his ass. I'm not scared. I think he just saw me, actually. I'm scared I'm gonna run out of hunger as soon as I start fighting this guy, and then... Alright, here we go. Take him by surprise. Oops. That's one thing, you can't be holding a weapon in your hand if you're gonna try and open a chest. That's... Oh my gosh, I've been having chain helmets, but... It... I haven't worn one. <laughs> wow, makes me feel silly. Wow, what's up with all these golden swords? Seriously, and I have two gold ingots, so... Wow, that's... That's really bad. See, like, what I just did to that guy, that, would, that always sucks when that happens to me. I hate that. Um, but I guess the same thing that I've been talking about, being a little bit scared when you haven't done any... When you haven't... When you watch all these videos with people playing Hunger Games, you know, it's a, it's a little intimidating, and... I guess it's kind of the same way with YouTube. I, I really want to do this YouTube thing where I become successful on YouTube. But, you know, it, it's a little scary. It's a little intimidating. And uh, So if you're watching this video and if you liked it, please do leave a like. And um, please comment something, you know, or share it with your friends. I don't know. Um, let me know if you enjoyed the commentary or not. Because it, it, me it would mean a lot to me. And um, I, I'm not going to be doing videos just by myself. I'm going to be playing a lot with uh, Malachi Wickerman. And I'm out of arrows. Thank you for the arrows. And he's going to be chasing me right about now. Wow, actually he's not. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, I hit him. Gotta eat. Sorry, I, I get I get so focused when playing. <laughs> this is gonna be a battle of uh, shooting arrows at each other and collecting the arrows over and over. I, I know it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is, son. There it is. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, oh, oh! He doesn't have a weapon, does he? He doesn't have a weapon. Oh, he's got TNT, he's got TNT. Oh, oh, he, he tricked me. He tricked me. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh no, 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 no. no. I was so close, I'm so sorry. I really wanted to win that game too. That was so close. Oh. Wow, the deathmatch. Wow. Wow. This, these death matches are tough because usually it's the people that are really, really good are the ones that end up in the death match. You know, I, I'm really trying to, to improve my skills. Though. But also one thing that I love about the server, I do have to mention, is the uh, the spectator. Um, most servers out there they do allow you to spectate in most mini games. But one thing that drives me crazy is one of my favorite servers out there, SK.GA. It's Sky Does Minecraft. His server. You can't spectate unless you pay for the uh, to become a VIP member or a premium member. It, it drives me crazy because I'm like, when I'm playing with with uh, Malwicker from Trona Tales, when I'm playing with Malwicker, I I want to spectate when I die or when we're playing together, and you can't unless. And I know eventually I'm just gonna end up spending the money, but I, I kind of want the money to be justified though if I'm gonna be spending it. So you know I'm trying to make some money off of YouTube so I can actually pursue my dream as a gamer. And you know, I, me, me and Malwork, we have big plans. We just started a business together, and we, you know, right now it's not really a business. I mean, we don't, we're not making any revenue or anything, but we're really working on it. And this is our dream right here. This is our goal to make revenue for for our server is going to be this. By in the beginning, it's going to be by doing the whole YouTube thing. And if we can provide content that the viewers whoever's watching this video that's you that you're the viewers and if 
we're trying to make content that you will personally enjoy and we would love personal feedback and interaction with you guys about what you want us to play we have the technology to do this kind of stuff where we can play video games and record and we want we want to interact with you guys we we want to be a part of society and part of the youtube community i mean i've talked to him and i don't know specifically what he wants for youtube i mean i do but i don't you know me personally i would love the interaction and i i mean like i said we have the technology we we can do this gaming thing we can provide content based on what you guys want and you know it'd be I'd be glad to check out anybody else's YouTube channel if if that's what they want and you know I want to help people grow but I also need help on YouTube. I can once I have power on YouTube I can help other YouTubers become something but I need help in the beginning just as much as as anybody else does. So again, I know I'm full of words today, but thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, you know, comment and subscribe, please. It means a lot. Um let me know what you think, and if you want more videos like this, I could just talk all day, and so could Mal you know sometimes i I draw blanks on the commentary, but today I, I think I really did a good job, so thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out my channel and Tron and Tales that is a YouTube channel uh, and yeah, tune in next time. thanks guys. It means a lot.